What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is actually give you guys a more detailed look at the PS4 controller, the PlayStation 4 controller. And as you know already, this is a complete redesign compared to the last generation of the DualShock controller for the PS3. Uh, and the PS3 had a similar look to the PS2 as well as the PS1 controller. Um, but Without further ado, let's get started. Before uh, I take a look at the tour for you guys, I want to uh, explain all the specs of this controller. So, this is actually 162 millimeters wide, 52 millimeters high, and the depth is only 98 millimeters, and this just weighs 210 grams. Now, and of course, you have a capacitive touchpad right here, which is similar to the PS Vita. And this has a six axis motion system, which is a three axis gyroscope, as well as a three axis accelerometer. And of course, this has the light bar feature, which the light bar feature is right here, the white part, as well as vibration, which that is usually equipped on every controller. And you have a built in mono speaker right here, which is actually located above the PlayStation button, as you see right there. And of course, you have a micro USB port so that way you can use it to charge up the controller or possibly play on any other device. Maybe that might happen, I don't know. This has Bluetooth 2.1 and as far as battery life, there is no compartment to remove the battery. And people were saying it's been like this for the PS3. Uh, I didn't know that because I've always used the Xbox 360. I never owned really any PlayStation product other than the PS1 and whenever there were wireless controllers for the PS1 they always had battery compartments but uh, what I just found out is like the PS3 and the PS4 there's no removable battery so the only way that you can uh, operate this thing through battery power is with the built-in battery in it which is actually a thousand milliamp hours so it's a lithium ion battery and you use the micro USB cable that came with your PS4 or use any other micro USB cable in order to charge this thing and then what happens uh, when the battery is uh, defected. Then I guess you have to buy a new controller or uh, bring this back to the store or send it back to Sony and have them replace the battery or you can risk it and unscrew all of these and try to replace the battery yourself. I don't know if and that's a good idea depending if the battery is soldered onto the uh, logic board or the motherboard of this thing. But without further ado, let's take a, a closer look of the PS4 controller. So you got the D-pad right here, you got your left analog stick, you got your right analog stick, and these are actually clickable. You got the PlayStation button, the speaker as I already mentioned, as well as the capacitive uh, touchpad. And if you notice, if you push on it, it actually clicks. So that'll be used for uh, other games that take advantage of the touchpad. You got your action buttons right here, X, square, triangle. I, I always call this the O button, but this is actually the circle button. Not sure why I do that. You actually have a share button as well as the options button. Uh, so I don't know which one is supposed to be for pause or select because the PS3 controller used to have a select and a start button. So I'm not sure which is going to be which or you have to rely on the PlayStation button to pause your game which is really not pausing it's to get back into the main screen and of course up here you have got your left and right buttons right here L1 I think it's just the left bumper and R1 is the right bumper as well as your triggers right here for L2 and R2 so they pretty much codenamed these triggers the same way uh, as they did for the PS3, the PS2, and the PS1. And of course over here you got a micro USB uh, port as well as a headphone jack. So you can actually plug in headphones to listen through your game uh, that would normally be mm, coming out of the mono speaker. So let's say my Apple EarPods for example. I can take this and plug it in there and then mm, listen to my game through that. So that's a neat feature. I never saw that before. I think this is the first uh, gaming controller or gaming console uh, referring to the PS4 uh, that has that feature. Now, I'm going to do a comparison 
with another controller. Now, I do not own a PS2, I do not own a PS3. I would have uh, liked to have the PS3 controller just to do a fair comparison because it's the you know, predecessor uh, of the PS2. Or actually, what I'm trying to say is like it's the generation before the PS4, uh, which would be the PS3. But what I do have is a PS1 controller for the original PlayStation. So let's take a look at uh, the differences between the two. So the PS4 controller, you can tell it's bigger than the PS1 controller. And you can also consider this the PS2 controller, possibly the PS3 controller. I don't know if that was uh, smaller than this. Well, or if it was the same size, the only thing that changed was having the replacing the analog button right here uh, with the PlayStation button as well as the select and start button. So as you can see, the PS4 controller is totally redesigned and it's got uh, new added features on there such as the touchpad and the PlayStation button as well as the share and the options button. Whereas the PS1 didn't really have all that, it's pretty much all old school now and you got the analog button to disable your analog if you don't want to use your analog you just want to use your d-pad for playing games that's fine now the ps1 controller right here is not wireless so it's a controller with a cable whereas the ps4 controller is wireless although i do believe you could purchase a wired controller i'm not sure yet if that's not out right now then maybe it'll come out eventually if you don't want to rely on battery power well with the exception of this cord right here you have got a light bar right here uh, actually uh, what I said at the beginning of this video I take that back the micro USB port is right here I do apologize for that this this port right here it was uh, actually meant for I believe is the headset and so I do apologize for that I'm sorry uh, I forgot that it was up there Anyway, you got your trigger buttons right here. Now, if you notice the trigger buttons, you can see that they have this sort of flap design, whereas for the PS1, it just has the, you know, the, the clicking method. So this is actually more, how would I describe it, more flappier than, than this one, I guess, because this is like almost completely flush uh, with the controller and this isn't even flush this is like extending out of it and, and of course so the the buttons they look different uh, going from the first generation to the fourth generation uh, of this gaming console and as well as the back nothing really interesting in the back uh, you can see the grooves or the 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 places where the analog sticks sit in so as you can see it's a big change going from the first generation of the PlayStation to the fourth generation uh, of the PlayStation, uh, the PS4 versus the PS1 controller. Now, I also have another controller I want to uh, bring in here, which is not made by Sony, it's made by Microsoft. And what I have is the Xbox 360 controller. Now, I don't have the Xbox One controller to compare right now, oh, uh, because... I don't have the Xbox One. I don't know if I'll be getting that anytime soon. Uh, maybe I'll wait for the price to drop. I don't know. Uh, but here it is compared to the Xbox controller. Now, I've always used the Xbox 360 controller because that's what I own. I own an Xbox. Didn't own a PlayStation. So I'm always used to this feeling. It's great. It's nice. This is the very first controller that I got when I got my very first Xbox 360 back in 2006 and here we are in 2013 I'm still using this and I have no problems with it whatsoever when I started using the PS4 controller same thing no problems whatsoever just a different design just a different uh, layout you know the analog stick for the left is right here whereas the left stick for the Xbox 360 is all the way up here you can see that the Xbox 360 controller is actually bigger than the PS4 controller and if you want to compare this to the Xbox One controller, the Xbox One controller is actually bigger than the PS4 controller from what it seems like. And of course, your bumper buttons are different. The Xbox is actually actual triggers, whereas these, these are like smaller versions of the triggers. And of course, here's this side right here. Not Nothing too fancy about it. I mean, all they have is the ports for the headset. 
magnet, and of course, going from the back, there's nothing too fancy right here. Well, actually, there's supposed to be a battery compartment right here, which the battery is removable on here. It'll take double A batteries, or you can use the rechargeable batteries that you would get separately. So you're paying for two different things, whereas the battery is built in here, which is nice because if the battery runs out over here, simple, all you have to do is charge it or just swap it out for you know, more brand new AA batteries, whereas this, if it's you know, deflected or depleted, then I'm assuming you're done, you got to pay more money to you know, get a new controller. So that's pretty much an overview of the PS4 controller. What do you guys think about the controller? I know I'm doing a, re a video on a controller, right? But hey, you know, this stuff's pretty interesting too. Do you guys like the new controller uh, made for the PS4 or do you prefer the PS3's uh, dual axis controller or DualShock 3 controller for the PS3? Or if you don't like either one of those controllers, do you like the Xbox controller better? Do you like the N Nintendo's Wii remote better? Or Nintendo's uh, Wii U uh, gaming pad better than the you know, PS4 controller? I'm interested to see what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments down below. This is not a full review of the controller right now. This is basically just giving you guys a tour as well as some mm, comparisons to other controllers. And in this case, I did the PS1 controller which is right here, and I also did the Xbox 360 controller right here. Now, overall, the controller feels great, it feels nice, it feels pretty sturdy, although I, I can tell it's made out of plastic, but hey, you know, plastic uh, makes the controller or makes products light, am I right? I mean, they don't uh, add a lot more weight compared to metal. And, and the buttons feel great as well. Uh, overall, I have no problems with it. Some people just prefer the Xbox because of the controller. M me, I can go with either one. It don't matter which controller or which system I'm using. I can uh, I can adapt myself to any controller just like that. Maybe for like a day or two. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments down below on what you think about uh, Sony's PlayStation 4 controller. Take care, everybody.